Hello and welcome to The Culture Bar, a panel discussion podcast exploring important topics in the arts and music world. In this podcast, we will be talking to current and past interns of Harrison Parrott, who secured their internships through Creative Access, a company that enables people from communities underrepresented in the creative industries to access careers, progress and reach leadership. We will be asking them for advice on how to secure an internship, how they found the whole process and what they hope to achieve or have achieved following the internships. We are first joined by current employees of Harrison Parrot who are still interns or have now taken on other positions at the company. Please can you each introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Alicia. So I started as an accounts assistant intern and now I'm full time as an accounts assistant. Hi, I'm Kaya. I originally started as an intern for touring and artist management and now I'm currently working in the HR department as HR um, and operations coordinator. Hi, I'm Mia. Um, I work as an intern artist coordinator for the vocal team. Uh, and my name's Owen O'Brien and I will be the host for the podcast. So before we go into the questions, uh, Kaya, would you be able to explain briefly what Creative Access is. Creative Access for me is a company that help um, people who may be from underrepresented uh, backgrounds or cultures. Um, they help people get involved in the creative industries because I you know it, it's really hard to get a job um, sometimes in sort of the arts and um, they can help you with providing you with opportunities, jobs or experiences and they they often run um, some workshops and opportunities for networking. Brilliant, no it's a great company. Um, So uh, Alicia, if we start with you, so how did you initially find out about Creative Access, can you remember? Uh, Yeah, so I was actually in contact with someone from my uni, Um, he was like a coach for finding jobs and she actually sent me a link to um, a HR role at uh, Harrison Parrott through Creative Access. So then I just signed up and I went through it all and it looked like quite a good role. And um, then I researched into the company, applied and then got an interview. And, and when you saw this position, why did you think it was particularly relevant for yourself? Um, well, at first I, I kind of wanted to go into HR and then just looking at like the Creative Access website, it was like quite... Um, it was like for like underrepresented underrepresented groups so um, it was quite like I just thought like I would kind of fit in mm-hmm. and thought oh let me let me try give it a go and apply for it brilliant and uh, Mia same with you how did you find out about uh, the creative access process um, I think I had heard about the company for a while I think it was kind of after graduating and like on my job and trying to find <laughs> trying to find a job um yeah I just knew that I wanted to do something creative um and I feel like there's not many kind of websites dedicated for the arts that are also um trying to help certain communities um so yeah I'd, I'd kind of known about the website for a while and Kai you've uh, you've been working at Harrison Power now for for quite a while how, how long has it been now um so for me, it's been uh, quite an interesting process just because of the whole pandemic. So um, I got my internship in about October 2019. And then, of course, um, that was about six months. Um, and then the pandemic hit in 2020. <laughs> so um, there was a bit of a break there. And then in January 2021, um, the, a, a company that's sort of in the Harrison Parrots umbrella um, poly arts. I started working as an artist coordinator, and the following year moved into HR in Harrison Parrot. So Harrison Parrot's kind of been my whole journey. <laughs> <laughs> and and what would you say that you've learned while working at Harrison Parrot? Um, oh, that's a good question. I think I've just learned. It's it's good because I've learned different how to look at the, like a company, um, especially in the arts, from different angles, just because of the different roles that I did. Um, Working as an intern, for sure, I was, because I was with the touring um, department, I definitely got some, um, you know, idea of how tours run. Or, you know, some experiences that I probably wouldn't have gotten before, like meeting um, artists and, you know, arranging 
different things when I was with poly arts and then now in HR as well I'm just learning a lot about for me I think I'm learning a lot about myself and the way that I like to work so I think um, the confidence there has built and I'm able to sort of work with people and for people which is great <laughs> <laughs> and Alicia similar question I guess what do you think you've learned while working at Harris Pirates so far how long have you been working here um so I started in January so I've been like seven months not that long yeah, not, not that long <laughs> Um, but I would say I've learnt quite a lot actually like Kaya said because it's like a, um, a music company I've learnt quite a lot of like how the music company runs and the art and stuff even though I'm not directly within the music side of it um, but mostly in finance because I've never done anything to do with accounts before I've learnt so much and it's, it's crazy how much I've learnt in six months I wouldn't have thought <laughs> that I would have like learnt as much as I have but yeah it's it's, it's been good. So Mia, you've been uh, working at Harrison Parrot since January and your internship finishes in uh, December. Uh, what are you looking to do in your next role after your internship? Do you think uh, the internship will help you progress? What, what, what are you planning on doing? Um, I think it will definitely help me progress. I'm not entirely sure yet what I want to do next, um, but I think it's definitely kind of involved in the music industry. Um, but yeah, this was kind of my first experience in like artist management um, and I'm really enjoying it. So I think, yeah, definitely within artist management, maybe try out different genres. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really too sure, but it's definitely kind of guided um, what I want to do. So you think it's given you that confidence to just to go for those positions that you might, might yeah. not have gone for before? Yeah, definitely, because I think there's really specific skills of like um, kind of looking at adding bookings and even kind of reading over contracts and things that you wouldn't like learn really unless you're in um, kind of an artist management company. So yeah, I think it's definitely kind of taught me useful skills that I'll be able to use. So Alicia, your internship ended quite recently and now you're a full-time employee of Harrison Parrot. What was that, how did, what did that process involve? Like how, how did that transition uh, occur from internship to a full-time position? Um, well, um, so I basically had like talks with my line manager and we kind of said like, they said to me they do want to keep me on if I wanted to and I was like, yeah, I did want to stay. So then we kind of just thought, oh, it would just be easier after my three months probation as an intern. Um, we had a meeting and then they offered me a full-time role so then they just gave me a new like job description and I just went through it and it was kind of work that I had already been doing but obviously a bit more into it so I wanted to go for it so I could learn a bit more and have a bit more experience added as well and yeah now I'm, I'm full-time. <laughs> so you were happy that they offered you that but you, yeah. you wanted to stay on a little bit longer than, than yeah. the internship was? A question for all of you really, a lot of listeners will be wanting tips on how you guys secured these internships, so I'd love to ask you all individually what your top tip will be for people looking for internships with uh, Creative Access. So Kaya, let's start with you, what's your tip? Um, so from my experience, I remember, I think when you're, you're in sort of the applying process of um, Creative Access, you're sending your CV and everything and then they would, I mean things might be a bit different just because of the whole pandemic, but originally they would invite you in for like a meeting and I remember being so so nervous because <laughs> I, I was treating it like an interview which is good anyway but um, just relax and take your time and be yourself because with creative access they actually do want to know your personality so that way they can help you get a job that is suited to you um, and for an example it, sometimes when you are applying for a job, often there is another role in the company that you want to be in. So if you are just a bit more open, then perhaps you might be picked for another role. I think that's kind of what happened to you, Alicia. Yeah, because I um, originally applied for the HR role, but because I had accounts um, experience on my CV, um, they actually offered me the accounts position and I could choose which one I wanted. And then I went with the accounts one. Great, so even if it's not a particular area of interest to you, yeah. still go for it because doors will be opened when you are actually in the organisation. Yeah, definitely. They're great tips, I'm sure everyone will agree. And uh, Mia, what would you say your, t your tip, top tip is? Um, I think it's just about looking over kind of all of your experience. So for me, this was kind of my intro um, to classical music and I hadn't had direct experience with artist management. 
Um, but I think it's just about looking over all of your experience that you've had before, looking over the job, job description and just kind of seeing how that matches up. Um, and also not worrying if it's kind of an introduction to a new area because it normally is an internship, like, you know, they're not expecting to know everything. Um, I'm just going to add on to what Mia said. Um, I think don't, don't feel like you can't apply to different type of areas and think you need to only go for one area because it's an internship. So it's like, like Mia said, an intro into something you want to do or, uh, you know, want to get more experience in. So I, I would say don't just stick to just one, one area. But with Creative Access, like we said, um, if there is something else that is similar to what you've done or like you're interested in, then you would be offered it. Mm. Yeah, that would kind of be my tip. Um, and I was just going to say also the contacts within Creative Access they will kind of keep up to date with you and they will help you. And I know, you know, if you email them with your concerns, even when you're, you know, having your, doing your internship, you can um, rely on them to kind of respond and help you out that way in the same way that they'll run some sort of workshops and things because you might decide, you know, actually, I want to try this or I want to try that or I want to speak to this person and get this person as a mentor or something like that. So Kaya, you're actually leaving the organisation quite soon. Um, well, I'm sure we'll all be very sad to see you go. Um, what are your plans uh, after you leave and would you be able to tell us what the best thing about hey, Harrison Parrot has been for you? Yeah, so I'm actually leaving to do some travelling. Um, but also I think, I'm le- I think anyway, I'm leaving to move to another country, hopefully for a very long time. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, it depends. I sort of just want to get out of London. But um, I am hoping to meet loads of different people and um, discover a different culture to this one. And I think that's what that's sort of what I want to do. Um, um, talk to different people and I want to stay creative, definitely, and get to know different people. Um, and what I miss most about HP is... Well, the contacts, um, I've met some really no- lovely people here. Um, the, you know, the sort of opportunities, there's a lot of opportunities here, when, especially when you're talking to different people. Um, everyone has different ideas. Um, working in HR, I've really enjoyed um, just the whole process of it and it's made, it's kind of inspired me to go forward with that and I definitely want to try and take that with me when I go to different countries. Um, maybe not for the first few months as I plan <laughs> to be on a beach but <laughs> we will see we don't blame um, you <laughs> and um, yeah I think one of the if I can think of like a highlight that I've had while working at Harrison Parrot um, from my internship I would say I think there was an opportunity when um, I sort of got to help and that was really fun just going backstage and <laughs> seeing everyone move heavy instruments all over the place and just the whole background of how you know the show would happen and then of course seeing the show that was great um and then you know in the in the long term after the internship I think my highlight has just been the everyday sort of um working in HR being not in an office and welcoming guests and doing all I need to and just communicating with different staff members I've really enjoyed that so yeah Brilliant. Uh, and, and Mia, same question for you. What's been the best thing so far? Because you have no plans of leaving. We'd love <laughs> to know. Uh, what's the best thing uh, so far for you? Um, I think my favourite thing was I went to an audition day um, at National Opera Studios, um, which was just, it was so cool. I felt like Simon Cowell <laughs> on a panel <laughs> and just watching all the kind of graduates come on and audition for us. Um, <laughs> And yeah, what I really like about the vocal team is that they are like really wanting to hear my opinions on like the artists um, and respective artists. Um, so yeah, I was able to kind of write down my own feedback and see how that kind of matched up to everyone else's. Um, but it was just really cool just seeing all the kind of new, like fresh artists come and come sing for us. Yeah, it's amazing as well that um, Creative Access has opened those opportunities. Yeah. Like you would have never probably sat in such a strange <laughs> yeah. uh, environment, X Factor type yeah. environment before. So it's <laughs> it's great that that process has given you those opportunities. Definitely. So Alicia, how did it feel coming into uh, Harrison Power as an intern? What was that experience like? Um, well, I was a bit like nervous at first, obviously being a new person in in the role but when I came there was actually quite a few of us as interns so it it didn't feel like I started by myself 
because we was all kind of new starters and on the same level and then we got talking and then like it, it felt more comfortable I think joining with more people so I think that's I think it's good how Harrison Parrot employ quite a lot of um, interns at the same time and they do that across quite a few departments don't they so there's marketing HR uh, tours vocal which is which is brilliant yeah, yeah just to go on top of that I think um, it's good because at, when I started it was me and another person um, as creative access interns so when we would go away for like a workshop or anything we were together kind of doing that um, and it's around the same time so it was nice to meet everyone um, but then also as I was starting I was replacing um, a creative access intern who was going on to do something else um, called Lucy so my first week I managed to meet her just before she left and also there was another um, employee who was now full time um, called Matthew and he actually started as a creative um, access intern so I knew that they'd had you know Matthew had sort of got this job um, but he actually started as a creative access intern so it was nice to go to him for tips or um, just kind of know that maybe there is an opportunity here to not just sort of do your internship and then leave you know that the contacts will kind of still be there and it's a sort of a rolling thing that's been great thank you guys for giving us your advice and tips that's been incredibly useful and i'm sure uh anyone looking to get uh, a role through creative access will find all your advice incredibly useful thank you thank you we are now joined by two past harrison parrot interns who have now left the company and are still working in the music industry thank you both for joining us uh, please could you both introduce yourselves hi my name is matt I started working at Harrison Parrot as a artist coordinator intern and then I stayed as a permanent staff as an artist coordinator. Hi, my name's Lucy. Um, I too was an artist coordinator intern here at Harrison Parrot um, about three years ago now from like April 2019 to October 2019. Yeah. Great, so before we go um into like what you guys are now doing past your time at Harrison Parrot, it'd be great to know uh, how you both initially found out about Creative Access and why at the time you thought it was particularly relevant for, for both of you. Um, so I first found out about Creative Access um, because I was applying for an apprenticeship at a radio station in Birmingham. Um, so I'd got through to the final round but eventually didn't get it and it was run by Bauer Media, like the radio station. So when they got in contact to say like, you've been unsuccessful, but they also said, but we think there's potential and we'd really like to mentor you. And they told me about this radio masterclass that was happening a couple of months down the line by the BBC. So I was like, cool, like that's, you know, I'll just do what I have to do. Um, so I went to the um, masterclass and had no idea the, but it was run by Creative Access and obviously at the time like now we know as alumni they do these masterclasses like every month but at the time this was like my first one and had no idea that it was a regular thing um but yeah so I turned up and saw it was run by Creative Access and was had never heard of them before but was like oh like this sounds interesting um so I like went home from the masterclass I like, really inspired and raring to go and kind of like yeah looked creative access up online and was just kind of astounded that I'd never heard of them before because I was like oh this is like every company I would have ever dreamed of working for has adverts listed on here so I just kind of signed up and the rest is history really went from there. That's interesting because you think of creative access as this platform for uh, getting into the industry for mm. jobs but you don't realize actually that they do these workshops as well I didn't yeah. know that that's really interesting and it's it's open to interns and alumni and even at that point I actually wasn't even an intern so I'm not actually sure how I got in the building <laughs> but they let me in <laughs> they must have like maybe because I'd gone through that interview process I must have like been on their list or something but yeah like you know generally oh, right. it's for like interns and alumni but it all worked out. <laughs> Fantastic. And Matt, same with you. How did you uh, first find out about Creative Access? I was casually scrolling through the website of Arts Job, and mm. at that time I was working as an intern at a music sheet app startup, 
and I would like to try something different in the music industry so I decided to apply that uh, job advert which is uh, posted by Creative Access so I did some research online and found out more about the organization and I thought it's a really great organization that provides uh, opportunities for the different people uh, people of color or from lower social economic background. I think it's a great opportunity for me to apply and then Yeah, that's how I got my job <laughs> at Harrison Parrot What roles did you uh, both apply for then uh, at Harrison Parrot and why did they partic those particular roles appeal to you? I applied the artist coordinator intern I when I read the job description, I found it very fascinating to be able to get some working experience, uh, working behind the scene for putting up a concert or a project. I found it very fascinating. And I study music at university, so I always wanted to work in music stuff. So I was thrilled that uh, Harris of Hearts offer this amazing internship. Pat and Lucy, a uh, similar question for you. Like, what, what role was it that you applied for and why, why that particular role? So, same as Matt, it was for the artist coordinator intern role. But funnily, like, Creative Access actually approached me about the role. Um, like, they just emailed me and said, you know we have this opportunity and we think your skills and experience could be a really good fit for the job um and I, I remember looking at it and I was like oh I don't know if that's for me because I hadn't like unlike Matt I hadn't studied music at all I hadn't come from a classical music background like the whole reason I was working in radio because I was very into music and like wanted you know to go in a path in that industry like if possible um, but yeah, I'd never like, I hadn't grown up with classical music. I was really coming in it from like the ground up. Um, so I was a bit reluctant actually, but I just thought I was kind of looking to leave my job at the same time. Um, and I just thought, you know what, like I'll go for it and I'll never know if I don't apply. Um, so I did and yeah, miraculously got an interview and got the internship. So <laughs> It was a kind of a bit of fate, but yeah, it worked out really well. Brilliant. So Matt, once you completed your internship, you were offered a full-time position at the company. What key skills and experience did you gain from your whole time at Harrison Parrot? How long were you here for? I started working as an intern in March 2019, and I was offered the permanent role as the artist coordinator in September 2019 and then I left the company in January 22 so it was a nearly three years and honestly I've learned a lot a lot while I was working at HP and not only from the artist management department I also interned at the in the marketing department and the sponsorship and partnership department so I learned from a lot from different managers, their ways of different styles of working and also while working as a coordinator I've been uh, working with lots of amazing artists and a lot of different promoters so I think one of the main things that I've gained was how to prioritize your workload and how to manage your time and one of my most memorable experience working at HP was the monumental HP 50 concert that was in October 2019. Uh, it was a massive celebration of the 50th anniversary of the company and we organized three concerts at the South Bank Center. I was involved in the inviting the guest list and also having out at the backstage just doing anything that other colleagues would require us to do just having out a lot and it was a great experience meeting a lot of artists that you only knew them through the screen but not actually 
meeting them in person. So it's such a great experience to meeting them and talking to them and getting to know them a little bit more. Lucy, a similar question. What did you think you learned and the key things you learned in your experiences while at Harrison Parrot? And how long was your internship as well? My internship was six months. Um, so yeah, I think for me, like one of the biggest things I learned was just about the classical music industry. Um, I think, yeah, like I mentioned before, I hadn't had any experience with it, hadn't really grown up listening to classical music at all. So actually just working in that kind of environment and really immersing myself in a like part of the music industry that like probably otherwise I wouldn't have had much experience with was really like interesting and insightful um and even now in my role like in my job now I work a lot with classical music so actually having that experience from my internship has been really beneficial um and I think it might sound silly but generally just like office skills um I think I had worked like my first job that I had up until my internship was uh, in the hospitality sector and like retail um so it was very very different to like working in an office and you know the dynamics are so different so I think just actually learning how an office works and just all of those things that might sound really silly but actually kind of learning from the ground up is <laughs> quite useful so when you do go into other jobs you're like okay I know I know how this kind of works yeah, the tiny thing of how to email yeah. different people or how to email <laughs> your eternal colleagues was such a big skill that we learned. It, I guess. It's so, it, you don't really think about it, but it's so integral. And like, we literally spend all day in our jobs now on the emails. So, yeah, like actually just learning how to address people. And yeah, it sounds really silly, but. No, the basics that are just so fundamental. Yeah, definitely. And now you're both, uh, you both left Harrison Parrot. Um, where are you both working now? And how did your experience at Harris, Harrison Parrot help you secure those those positions once you left? So we both, uh, funnily enough, now work for the same company again. <laughs> uh, so we both work for a company called Concord. Um, I work for the music publishing side of the business, whereas Matt works for the theatrical side. Um, so I'll let you talk more yes. about that <laughs> so yeah so um my role is a sync and licensing associate so essentially my day-to-day -day job is to try and place the music from the publishing catalogue onto like uk tv um so i work a lot with you know broadcasters such as itv channel 4 uh bt sport sky um work on shows like Made in Chelsea, Love Island, uh, Hollyoaks, so yeah, work a lot with that. And I think, I think obviously, yeah, I think kind of I mentioned it before, but I think just having, even though all of those shows I do work on, we also look after the Boozy and Hawks catalogue at Concord, um, which is obviously, of course, all classical music and has incredible composers like Prokofiev, Shostakovich, um, just yeah Stravinsky so many so I think just having that experience here um and then being able to kind of take that into Concord and actually one of the artists we have on the publishing side is John Adams who Harrison Parrott also look after mm. so I, I mentioned that in my interview and I was like that's a good <laughs> that's a good segue <laughs> So one of the biggest things I think I took from Harrison Parrott going into my role at Concord is learning just how to communicate with artists and so yeah in our internships we would communicate with artists and like you know um deliver like contracts and terms and generally like talk to them about things like that and same like in my role I communicate with songwriters a lot you know about registering their music or performances they might want to perform at um so it's just interesting kind of interacting with those people because I think before you might have been a bit <laughs> scared and overwhelmed um but yeah I think just like learning how to really communicate with them effectively to get them because you want to do the best for them so I think just learning how to deal with that has been really beneficial. I also use the similar communication skill that I learned at HP to uh, talk to any playwrights or composers that I work now at my current role because I think it's a great skill to have to make 
the opposite party to feel appreciated and also feel respected for what they have been doing and I think it's a great way to make them feel welcoming. I think that's so important because yeah I think that's so true because Concord is a massive company so you know we like in the publishing side we look after a lot of songwriters and I'm sure the same is for you like a lot of playwrights. Yeah we manage more than 10,000 titles yeah. so plays we, and musicals so we try to have a nice balance to not only focusing on certain titles but we have to give some love to other titles as well yeah and on the publishing side we look after i think it's over six hundred thousand copyrights so it's a lot of songwriters to deal with and yeah i think you just you want to make sure that all of them feel appreciated because in a business that big and with a lot of copyrights it is difficult but yeah I think just to do the best for them and know that you are there for them and working to do what's best for them is yeah just been really important. I now work in marketing for Concord Theatricals which is very different to what my previous role at HP and now I work in the theatre world Previously, I didn't have any background in theatre and I think my experience at HP equipped me to just to be open to anything. And also, I worked in the marketing department at HP, so it also offered me some insights in how to create some copies for social media or how to analyze the data which I was lucky enough to be involved with dealing all the data analytics and data analytics for the HP streaming platform virtual circle and yes it was a very nice and new experience for me that I could use now at my current role when I was working at HP the colleagues are coming from different cultures from different countries and it was very nice to have uh, learned more about the different cultures. This helps me to work with the US team a lot because the UK marketing team is only two of us and just uh, give us so much uh, rapport in like working in different time zones or working in different cultures as well. So a lot of people listening to this podcast will be um, hoping to get an internship like you guys did uh, for a music company Um, so I think they'll all be wanting some tips or advice from you guys who have managed to do that. Could you both give your sort of top tip to anybody in in that position? So yeah I think one of my top tips is to obviously keep applying just keep being persistent because it can be a knock in confidence if you keep getting rejections like I had many rejections before this internship (laughs) Um, but just be resilient and it'll happen. And then once you're in there, just soak it all up and ask lots of questions. Um, I That's really something I've learned in this internship and in my job now is just to ask so many questions. I think when you're young and new to a company, you can kind of feel like, oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother them. Um, and I think it's just it's so important like knowledge is power and I've really learned that actually if I don't know I don't know and yeah so just learn more like that's how we all learn is just by asking questions I think just learning to get over that thing in your head of just like to yeah not be like oh no I shouldn't bother them they look really busy because actually everyone's so helpful and everyone just wants to help and to help you get the most out of your internship so yeah ask lots of questions is my biggest tip yes my big tip before applying for an internship is do your research just do uh, proper research on the website or talk try to talk to anyone that you might know working in that industry to get uh, some points to prepare during the interview to ask them i think this is a great way to make a good impression on the interview panel So yeah, and I think once you're in the place where you're doing an internship, my biggest tip would be to just ask lots of questions. Um, 
you know, this is really the best time to learn about a business when you're doing an internship because, you know, it's really a role from the ground up and this is really your opportunity and to just take it all in. And whether you decide to stay at the company post the internship or you move on, everything you learn is going to help you in your future jobs. And yes, just don't be afraid to approach especially higher ups um I think I was definitely very shy and was like oh no I won't bother them um but actually if you're just like can I just grab a coffee with you and pick your brain about this or even other um avenues because they'll all have such experience behind them as well so just being able to share that knowledge and absorb it all um yeah I think knowledge is just key and yeah just take it all in and just grab every opportunity to ask as many questions so do you you think creative access has given you both this like confidence that you didn't have before to put yourself out there for different positions whether that's in the music industry or not like do you think prior to you applying through creative access like and now do you think you've got more confidence to do that and just go for things that you wouldn't have before I think one of the main takeaway from the Creative Access induction day was telling us that we were hired by the companies for a reason, so don't look down on ourselves too much. So that's one way to boost our confidence, I think. Yeah, that was massive because, um, like I mentioned earlier, like Creative Access actually approached me about the Harrison Parrot role, and they literally said, how many of you in this room... I can't remember what she yeah she was like how many of you in this room think like you shouldn't be here and I put my hand up because I was like I do feel like I've just kind of walked in and just yeah and they were like you have every right to be here um you know they wouldn't have hired you if you know without reason and actually that was a massive turning point for me I was like oh okay because like you're right like they interview so many people so actually yeah just having that confidence of yeah they wouldn't have chosen you if it wasn't for a reason whether you know the reasons or not there is a reason that you're sitting in that room so yeah that that's good I forgot about that uh thank you so much Matt and Lucy for joining us for this podcast today I'm sure so many people uh, looking for internships through creative access will find everything you've said so so helpful so thank you very much no problem no worries our pleasure and that is it for this episode of the culture bar podcast we hope you enjoyed it I'd like to thank all our guests, Kaya, Mia, Alicia, Lucy and Matt for sharing their experiences of creative access. Thanks to Merlin Thomas, our editor, and Robert Cochran who composed the theme to music. Please do subscribe or leave us a review and you can visit harrisonparrot.com and creativeaccess.org.uk for more information. Do also take a look at the rest of the Culture Bar podcasts for more on important topics in the arts and music world. See you soon. Thank you.